Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back every day. She's kind of angry today. It's like 10 a.m. Sarah's still snoozing. I'm letting her sleep in. She's probably going to be mad when I wake her up later. Um, I finished my weekend morning reports. Today's like a productivity day. No parks today. Unless we end up going to Springs later. Ooh. Ah, ah, ah. She's the best. Are you ready for James? Sarah's finally awake, but um, she's not vlog ready yet. Um, but Eve is literally pouting all day. She's been kind of awake with me since like six. She woke up like gagging, like, oh, look at that puppy. But she's like frustrated. I feel like she needs a nap. Look at how tired those eyes are. And she like leaves the room and then like just like paces and comes back and is like out frustrated. Of she wants my coffee. She can't have it. She just keeps like rustling, getting comfy in a different position. Take a nap, sweetie. Come on. Okay, we're mixing up things. Sarah's finishing up the vlog. I dusted this fan and the fan out in the living room. They were in dire need of dusting. Today's a big dusting day and I'm also gonna do dishes, but I'm taking a break. Well, I didn't take a break. I finished the dusting that I was responsible for. I'm gonna help Sarah do other dusting, but those were the ones that like I was gonna do. Now I'm doing something that I've been looking forward to that's always just geeky fun. That's right. I am going to organize whatever kind of equipment that we are going to take to the hospital. I was going to bring it in our, um, I was going to bring it in our low pro bag, but I want to be able to keep all the equipment with the laptop in the same bag. And this, it does have the capability to hold a laptop. Actually, this only has the capability to hold an iPad. Whereas our ACS team determination backpack has a spot for a laptop that's padded that'll fit our Mac. Plus I can just get the equipment in, in there. Um, situate, situate, nice and situated in there. All right, um, so this is what it looks like when you vlog your life and you're getting ready to go have a baby. And if your name's the Burkharts, there's only one piece missing here and it's the little tripod that is actually made to go on the bottom of this Evo gimbal that we've been that we usually keep around my pocket. I hope it's in the center console of the car, but I'm not positive. But here's the setup. So we've got our cell phone gimbal that if we end up doing a C-section over there more than two or three days, we may end up using that to hold the cell phone to do a live stream or just to get some cool pans. Of course, our Canon M50 with the two lenses. We're actually going to bring the Nikon just in case of uh, if we can't set up anything close by because we're like emergency or we don't want to worry about it. This has got a really good, it's, a, it's an older camera, but it's got a times 34 optical zoom, really good for far away shots with high quality. So we're actually going to bring that. It's literally double A battery powered, but it works. We've got two tripods. Here is a lapel mic that hooks up to either the camera or my cell phone that I may have just attached in my pocket onto my shirt to kind of thing to get good audio. Once again, if we can't have that near, then maybe we, hopefully we can catch like a first cry. And then we've got our GoPro accessories. I'm gonna bring our GoPro more so for the ride home, but I wanna be prepared if we want some wide angle shots of our room of us just hanging out as a family together. So we've got different attachments like a bar attachment, um, tripod attachment to go on here and like a window dry erase attachment there. So pretty set for all the different, and then of course our cell phones, pretty set for what I think would be almost any and all scenario that we could foresee um, without hiring a videographer or photographer. And I don't believe our, our hospital is not even allowing that right now. So I think we're finally good. I'm gonna get all that put in our ACS backpack. Um, and just leave some space in there for the chargers, for our camera chargers and the laptop. I'm about to do one of my favorite activities. I'm about to pour OxyClean Arm & Hammer baking soda cleaning all over our couch to let it sit and get some smells and pet dander and fur and hair and Sarah's hair pulled up and then I'm gonna vacuum it up. I love the smell of this. And I love sprinkling all over and then letting it sit. 
today's like deep clean like we said so it's gonna do this and then I'm gonna take like a butter knife and clean all the grooves of this table and we're gonna dust everything and it's gonna be fabulous hello I think this is the first time I'm in the vlog today um, I am making samba botch I've shown it before super easy just potatoes onions and green peppers in that order um, Usually it would have some sort of sausage, you can make it into a skillet, add egg, whatever. Um, I think, okay, so confession, I wasn't super crazy about that plant-based cheese we got from Target. It was just too nutty. So what I'm doing is I'm frying up some jalapenos and some salsa, and then I'm gonna add that to it to make it into like more of a rotel so that it um, has like other flavors to it and see, and then maybe we'll put that on top of our potatoes. That is some deep cleaning right there. It smells fresh. Here's how my little rotel turned out. I also added garlic, cumin, red pepper flakes, and that's it. Here are our plates. I'm I cheese on mine. You're gonna put cheese on yours. I'm like typically a ketchup person, so I might just dip. I sat down to take a break, and she just jumps up here and lays against me and puts her face on her chin on my leg. This has literally never happened before. I never want this to end. All right, so we're, we're just like, we're cooking with gas. Clean it, right? I mean, Sarah's been harder at it for the past like 20 minutes because I've been chilling. I put on this documentary about the 2000 election just to amplify my anxiety about the election in a week and a half. But like we were younger then, so like we weren't watching Fox or CNN back then. And it's just like crazy to hear about everything that happened with the 2000 election here in the United States. Especially because it's all like circled around all these Miami Dade and Broward and all these counties that we now know of. Oh gosh. Power? Power. Why'd the power just flicker? Oh, I hate when that happens. It's not even storming out. Alrighty, we're doing our last night of our taco filling. Crunch wrap supreme style, but you don't have any chips to make it crunchy, but it's still gonna be tasty. Ah! You be nice. Guys, this is truly a full vlog of all cleaning. The cool thing is, because we have been doing this all day long, we've been able to take sufficient amount of breaks, um, and it hasn't been overwhelming, it's just been like consistent. Um, but that doesn't make for a very exciting vlog. Um, but I'm about to do something that I didn't even realize was a big deal until recently. And if anybody else has one of these, look at yours because I had no idea that mine got so gross. So it's so nice we have this, you know, little staircase full of spices. My BFF Lauren got that for me. I don't even want to show the full amount, but there is just like seasoning all across the bottom. No matter how like neat I think I'm being. So I think it's just like something that lives in the back of my mind. And I think I'm finally going to tackle it. So before the night comes to an end, I wanted to show you one of these, uh, uh, something we got in the mail the other day. I wanted to thank the Zelinsky family. Um, they sent us a wonderful package but I just want to show you a piece of what they sent us and it's, it's a beautiful sign. I think you know why that sign is so important to us and there was a really nice heartfelt message about how this sign, this saying, what we say at the end of every vlog is good to be home is actually originated from Sarah's dad who James is being named after comes from. So thank you so much, a beautiful, wonderful sign. What do you do when your sister-in-law Snapchat to you with you eating a donut. You go and get your wife a donut. Hopefully they have the flavor she wants. Well, why not have some donuts? We won't eat all of these tonight. Maybe not. There'll be some for breakfast. Maybe. Um. You look so funny with your bow tie. You look like you got a little suit, suit gal. Um, are we done cleaning for the night? I think so.
get a couple of extra things. I just want to do the floors. That's my last thing. Maybe we'll do those tomorrow. Let's put on a movie. You need some donuts. Yes. The Brookhart's lives just changed for at least the next 30 days. You know how Aunt Robin's a big fan of Halloween? Always dressing up in crazy costumes. Oh, good. Okay, so. Back when we had our wonderful roommates, Matt and Ben, we had a Hulu account. And Sarah and I would watch How I Met Your Mother in all eternity. Prior to that, it was on Netflix. And we used to watch it all the time. It was like our, our third show. It was like we'd bounce between New Girl, Office, and How I Met Your Mother. So we've been on like, like a hiatus with How I Met Your Mother because we didn't have Hulu any longer. Well, I just signed up for a 30-day free trial. How I Met Your Mother, James, the first two weeks of your life at least, maybe three weeks, more like three, more like three and a half, hopefully. Hopefully, we go to the hospital tonight, and for the next first 29 days of your life, at a minimum, is just straight watching How I Met Your Mother. But I put on the Halloween episode before Sarah and I watch the 2017 re revitalized It movie, which neither of us have ever seen before. She's never seen any It. I grew up watching It. Is that even comfortable? This position had to be documented. Evers, ready for bed? Good? Hi. <laughs> Can I move you to our room now? Come you on. are the cutest. September 24th, we both keep thinking it's Sunday and it's so nice that it's Saturday. You can't calm the storm, so stop trying. What you can do is calm yourself. The storm will pass. Timber Hawkeye. Did we say? We watched it. The, the new one. The 2017. So like, I think I've told you before, I think it has to do with my sleep apnea, but like, I don't remember my dreams or my nightmares, I guess, but it brought I remember back. mine like crazy. It, watching this one, because we haven't seen it before, brought back, like, I don't know if they're memories from the original one, because I used to watch the original with my family when I was growing up multiple times. I don't know if I'm, like, remembering they're the movie. They're big Stephen King fans. Yes. My mom actually chased him down a block once <laughs> um, at a signing. But I don't know if I'm remembering the original movie or if I'm remembering a nightmare after watching the original or if I'm, wa I'm remembering like a nightmare version of the original movie. But I was having like weird flashbacks <laughs> while we were watching that. I was like... That was... That was, it was good. It was good, yeah. We, it and, went by fast. And the next one, um, part two, is on the HBO Max, which we have access to, but it's just under three hours. Yeah. Can we watch tomorrow, maybe? Maybe. <laughs> it's good to be home. It's good to be home. Oh, and you should really make a voting plan. Yes. Mm -hmm. Go out. There's already been over 50 million people have voted already, which is crazy. Also, if you follow Stephen King on Twitter, he's got great um, political commentary. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he really does. <laughs> it's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.